Hello everyone, uh, my name is Pedro Nova and we are gonna do a review on this M-Link S2 soldering station. As I said in the previous video, this is a Hakko 936 clone um, that we will do a review, uh, some uh, test soldering and um, we will do a disassembly uh, to check uh, the, um, the quality inside. So, um, first of all, let's turn it on. Okay, so now it's heating. I will set it up to 375 um, degrees Celsius. That's about 700 Fahrenheit. Um, that's usually the temperature I work with. Um, let's give it um, around, I don't know, a few seconds more. Um, it's already blinking, so I know uh, the the iron itself it's at 375. I will just wait a few seconds for that heat to go into the soldering tip. Okay, so the soldering station is now ready. I have some uh, just a random uh, scrap PCB and uh, one millimeter solder that I will use to do some uh, test soldering. Uh, let's hope this focus please okay again okay, let's do some testing uh, I already tested this um, this uh, soldering station so I know it will work uh, pretty nice so just for you to show that I can easily as you can see Let me see if I can focus that. As you can see, it's like instant liquid. You won't really have any issue soldering. Um, even you, you, as you can see, I'm, I'm not using flux because I don't really care. It's just a test soldering. And as you can see, as soon as I touch it, it's liquid. So it, it's a very good iron. Um, so I already um, calibrated uh, using my 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 multimeter that has a heating probe. Uh, I use it to calibrate, so I know that when I choose 375, um, it it is around 375 on the tip. Um, so uh, let's turn it off and uh, disassembly so I can show you the inside. Let me unplug. Okay, let's remove the iron. have uh, four screws, standard Phillips screws. I already know uh, how this this looks inside because <laughs> everything that I buy that doesn't have a warranty seal <laughs> it gets almost instantly open. <laughs> okay, so now <clears throat> so uh, this is a fairly simple uh, design as you can. As you can see, uh, uh, I already tested. I know that it's perfectly uh, grounded. Um, no issues in that part. Uh, I see that um, they they even put a heat sink here that uh, many of these um, cheap soldering stations have a, a problem on this MOSFET because they heat too much and they don't even have a, a heat sink attached most of the times. Um, uh, so, 
we have here a glass fuse, as you can see. Um, it's a shame that it's um, you have to solder. It's not uh, replaceable. It's replaceable, but uh, I will have to buy one and solder. Uh, you should have like a, a fuse port of some sort, uh, but it's transformer uh, usual on this soldering. Uh, 24 volts output. Well, it's grounded as you can see. So I don't really like when the earth is ground point. It it's, uh, uses solder. Uh, it, that's just cheap. Uh, I don't really like that because solar can break with heat, especially since they they use um, lead free solar in this. As you might expect. Um, the um, soldering uh, are just horrible as you can probably see here the potentiometer that changes the, the temperature uh, it's just horrible but you know it's I don't know this 30 bucks with shipping so you can't really ask for more I'm already pleased to know that I have a, a fuse uh, that uh, the main power button really cut, cuts off the the the, um, the live connector, and I have at least a decent looks decent. I don't like the solar, as I said, but it still looks decent. Of course, this is just crap soldering, as usual on on all these Chinese equipment. But as long as it still works, I, I don't really will. I, I won't touch this. I won't make any new solar, especially since this um, I brought it with warranty, believe it or not, because uh, I brought it from an online store, uh, um, and they they ship it with a with a warranty for two years, so. And that's all the, the cover. It's all plastic. Uh, uh, that's my complaint here. It's because the 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 iron support. It's all plastic, so I don't really like that. The only metallic part is this small tray here, where you put the sponge. That it's it's some cheap metal. Um, the but uh, it's okay. As I said before, um, it works, it's cheap, and um, it's re reliable because uh, I know many people have this for like one, two, three years and they are still working, so um, I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know if you have any questions about about this, um, this uh, soldering station or about any question about electronics or whatever, let me know in the comments. Uh, and um, like, subscribe and see you in the next video.